you for coming, Mr. Oldman. I'm still annoyed at Turbo and his friends for making a mess on the walls when we were, we were away on holiday. How did every wall in the lounge and up the stairway get covered in bicycle tyre tracks, would you believe? Yes, it was, he was rather quiet about what went on. But look on the bright side. He painted the rest of the house for you. <sighs> so cool for saying sorry, but yes, half the house, Mr. Oldman, half the house, the lower half. It's only as high as he could reach. And in brown, he thought the brown colour would best cover the, uh, the, the marks. Probably it was because it was cheapest as well. Do not worry, my dear Anne. Uh, <laughs> I am prepared for my rescue mission. A lot of nice coloured paint and stilts on my feet. <laughs> so I can reach all the high places. Oh, you're so kind, Mr. Oldman. Don't you think prudent? Prudence? What have you done to your head? When Turbo mentioned something about mending a curtain rail, it must have been the one in your bedroom. And it fell on your head. Oh, are you right, my dear? <laughs> you just come back from the doctor's surgery. It was just a small cut and bled a lot. But you're very worried about Turbo. Oh, what has he done now? He was running down the road, carrying a small suitcase. Oh, uh, do you think he's run away? You checked his room and the kitchen cupboards. He took no clothes, no toothbrush, no soap, no comb. But all the crisps and chocolate bars are missing. Hmm, a mystery to be sure. Maybe Beaker knows what's going on. Beaker? <laughs> Tell us, Beaker, has Turbo run away? Ooh, uh, has he left because the curtain bell fell on Prudence? that um, you were planning to move the furniture uh, back today. Ooh, Turbo must have heard our conversation. What was under the sofa? A hole? The carpet had dissolved. Turbo had accidentally dropped a can of bike oil and couldn't get the stain out of the carpet. He asked friends, and they all suggested different things. So he put them all on the stain and left it to bubble and fizz overnight. The stain had vanished by morning, but so had a large patch of carpet. <laughs> oh, so he realised today that you would see what he has done. Oh. That reminds me of a Bible verse. Numbers chapter 32, verse 23. Be sure your sins will find you out. God can see everything we do. And often enough, sooner or later, others will too. Yes, Prudence, it is better to own up earlier on over the wrong things we do. The Bible calls them sins. We can talk to God and ask him to forgive us our sins. He forgives everyone who is truly sorry. Yes, Speaker, 
like with the carpet. And Turbo has vanished too. Oh, oh, oh. Any idea where he might have gone? Hmm. To West Bay? Oh! The wild camping with Phil from our church. Uh, but he won't need his comb and toothbrush and change of clothes, you think? We yeah, don't, I don't think, think so. so. <laughs> anyway, perhaps it'd be a good idea if I just phone Phil and check Turbo's safe, don't you think? Hmm. I think everyone could always do that, phone Phil and check Turbo safe this weekend, couldn't they? Yes. Uh, so I'll go phone in now. So bye, everyone. Bye. bye. bye.